Good morning and welcome to the Friday Pastors Devotional here at Huguenot Road Baptist Church. My name is Bob Lee and I serve as senior pastor here. And it is my great joy and pleasure to have you spend a few minutes of your Friday or whatever day it is that you're watching with me. Today is Friday, August 30th, the Friday of the Labor Day weekend. And I hope that these few moments of spending time together in scripture and prayer will be helpful to you as you journey through the weekend, prepare for worship, whether in person or online, and strengthens you through this coming week. Our theme actually is on the book of James. So I'm sharing a few things today about what we're going to talk about on Sunday morning. We're launching a brand new message series from the book of James this Sunday, and the series will be five weeks, and we'll work through significant portions of the book of James. And today, I'd like to focus on chapter 1 and verses 19 and 20. So let's hear that together. My dear brothers and sisters, writes James, and by the way, we believe James is the brother of the Lord Jesus himself. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. This reminds me of another brief verse, but powerful verse in the book of Ephesians, where Paul writes in chapter 4, verse 29, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Part of James' message has to do with practical Christianity, how we live out our faith. In another part of James's book, he writes, faith without works is dead. So we know that the Bible tells us that we are saved by grace through faith, not by works. But James helps us to understand that it is critically important for our faith to yield good works. So the people will know us by our fruits, as Jesus said. And so James brings the practical side of the theology together so that our beliefs yield good works. And people with whom we encounter out in the community, school, neighborhood, work, church, etc., will know we are Christians, not only by our love, but by our words, by our actions. All of this r reminds me of a very simple but powerful concept in Stephen Covey's book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Habit number five is seek first to understand, then to be understood. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. That's what um, uh, Covey describes as empathetic listening. Listening with empathy, meaning to understand where somebody's coming from, uh, what it's like to walk in their shoes, and and then being able to engage with them on that level and perhaps not at all trying to fix what they're going through or solve their issue, but simply to understand and be a good friend and a good Christian sister or brother. Covey tells a little story about a father and the, the father said, I just can't understand my kid. He won't listen to me at all. And then Covey writes back, have you ever tried listening to him? And challenges the father to first listen to his son, and then maybe his son might listen to him a little better. A good lesson to us all. So this Sunday, may we be preparing our hearts and minds as we worship together, focusing on our speech our words, our attitude, our body language, how we treat others, 
Words are powerful. May we remember that today. Thanks again for joining me, and I wish God's blessings on you. I'd love to pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for this gorgeous day and for this time together. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the practical wisdom in the book of James that helps us out in the field and at home, wherever we are, that we might love others and be known by our love. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. See you soon.